Guys, is the real estate market shifting? You may be wondering this right now, and today I'm going to go through four reasons why Toronto's market may be shifting. House real estate is back, baby, but this time, not for another signature house tour. We are restarting our info series. I know a lot of our clients and followers have been asking me, hey, what happened to those couch sessions where I sit on my office couch and talk about the market and useful buyer's advice? Well, we were busy with our house team rebranding. I want to welcome you now to our professional new house studio. Thank you to our team for helping me build this wonderful studio. Every week, I'm going to be talking about new topics in Toronto's real estate market. I'm excited to be providing you guys with more amazing content and insight. If you're a buyer or seller or just curious about Toronto's real estate market, then we hope you enjoy what to come with this series. Another reason why you probably missed us over the last few months was that our whole team had been extremely busy with the sizzling hot real estate market. This new year, our team did a ton of sales. In fact, one of the slowest months of the year in real estate, usually December, was actually one of our busiest months of 2021. Our house agents and brokers all had a feeling that it would cool down in January, which is usually a slow month, it turned out to be different this year. January and February market was very active. Now that we're in April, you may have noticed that a lot of more homes have not been selling as fast and at record-breaking prices anymore. Now this is the perfect segue for today's discussion. The old saying goes, what goes up must come down. At the time of filming this video, we haven't seen price drop dramatically from a few months ago, but we are seeing prices flattening and stabilizing. We saw a huge price increase month after month over the last six months. Prices do not always go up. There will always be moments and blips in the market where the sales slow down and we see less bids for homes. Buyers are sick of bidding wars, which, are, which, 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 let's go back. <laughs> Buyers are sick of bidding wars, which we're going to discuss more in the last point. The next point is what everyone globally has been waiting for. Ease of COVID restrictions and travel restrictions. Leading back to a more normal life like what we had pre-COVID people couldn't wait to go out and travel again. On March 21st, the government officially lifted their mask mandate, and we saw less and less travel restrictions from across different countries. More and more people is traveling again for business and for pleasure. A lot more people are traveling and making plans now than earlier this year. This means less time to shop for a new home. Every year, it is very common that March, more homes go on the market, hence the beginning of the busy spring season, as sellers prefer not to list their own homes in the cold, harsh winter. If you look at this chart, you can see last year January has 7,396 active listings and February an increase in supply. And in March, more sellers decided to put their home on the market. Now if we look at the end of this chart, in December, there's only about 3,000 or so active listings. That's only 0.5 months of inventory. That's the lowest MOI I've ever seen in the Toronto real estate market for the month of December. Look at this chart now, comparing the last five years of inventory for the month of December, if you look at the MOI for the beginning of 2022, it's slowly creeping back up. January was 0.7 and February 0.8. Now March stats have not been released yet, but I won't be surprised if we see a much higher MOI as there's going to be more active listings coming out, but we're going to see fewer sales for the month of March. Now it's very important to note that we are still in a seller's market because four to six months of inventory is a balanced market. Above six becomes a buyer's market and below four is a seller's market. On March 2nd, the Bank of Canada announced our first interest rate in two years. Everyone anticipated this rate hike, but what most people didn't anticipate was that the government increased it by 0.5 basis points instead of the usual 0.25 basis points. Now the federal government is planning to increase it further, anywhere from four to six more times this year. With uncertainty surrounding how the increase will impact the market, a lot more buyers are waiting on the sidelines to see how everything pans out. This and a combination of buyer's fatigue where buyers are just sick and tired of bidding. A lot of our buyers have viewed that this interest rate announcement is a good time for them to take a break from the house hunting. This concludes our video of why we think the market may be shifting. The homes now are not selling as fast as before and at the lower prices that you may expect. Now more than ever, you need a real estate agent or a team with a lot of experience and with a very strong marketing that provides maximum exposure for you with a curated and well thought out marketing strategy for your property. If you want to learn more about what we do at house, please DM us or give us a call. And if you're looking more for these kind of videos, please subscribe and leave a comment below. See you soon in our next video.